Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about what narcissists hate most about you. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is Narc Survivor. .co.uk What narcissists hate most about you There are many things that the narcissist loves about you That is why they targeted you And it's why they keep coming back to you Narcissists do not want to be around anything of poor quality or of a low standard They don't want to be around anyone who they deem to be inferior in any sort of way they want to be around people who are useful to them. People who serve some purpose. People who are productive and effective. People who are advantageous, helpful and of good effect. So they love many of your good qualities, such as your empathy and compassion, your forgiving nature and your understanding. Because then no matter what they do, you will always find a way to make excuses for them because you understand and share their feelings and you give them far more chances than they deserve. Because you're permissive, merciful and tolerant, which all benefits the narcissist. But there is one thing about you they can't stand and it causes them to become actively opposed and hostile towards you to where they then seek to harm and weaken you because they are trying to destroy this one trait that you have to gain the advantage. The narcissist loves many of your good qualities. They love your kindness and compassion, your forgiving and understanding nature, because all of this can be weaponized against you. It can be exploited for the purpose of attacking you, which they can use to their advantage. And it also gives them narcissistic supply. But there is one thing they hate most about you, and that is your resilience. Your capacity to withstand and recover quickly from difficulties. Your ability to successfully adapt to difficult and challenging life experiences. Especially through mental, emotional and behavioral flexibility and adjustment to their demands. To where you're able to be happy and successful again after something difficult or bad has happened. They hate and envy your resilience because that is just another quality that they do not possess. They are maladaptive. They are unable to adapt to environments or situations, especially those that are outside of their control. They do not have the ability to change to suit different conditions and thus they fail to serve an adjustive purpose as a result of unmet emotional needs in childhood, to where they now have an inability to regulate their own emotions. So now they must push your buttons in order to garner narcissistic supply. And it's why they hate your resilience, because it presents a difficult problem, as it makes you a tough opponent for them to deal with and understand. Because you are the opposite of them. You are flexible and adaptive, because your emotional needs in childhood were met. So you do possess the ability to regulate your own emotions, which makes you very different to the narcissist because they do not possess the ability to do that. And that is why they are maladaptive. Because they experience fear and anxiety as a result of their unresolved childhood traumas, which they can only regulate through breaking you down but no matter how much they try to destroy you, they cannot break you. Because that ability that you have to adapt and adjust and to regulate your own emotions is what makes you unbreakable. But it also causes you to be easily influenced by their opinions. 
to where you may even be susceptible to hypnosis. And these traits of being not only resilient, but also adaptable, is what causes you to keep coming back despite the abusive tactics that they use against you. And the more you come back, the more they hate you. Because then they can see that there is a light in you. They can sense it, but they cannot put out your light. So instead they mirror you. They talk the way you talk. They dress the way you dress. They like the things you like. They try to become you in every possible way, but they cannot copy this one thing. They are stuck in a perpetual state of narcissistic collapse to where they are unable to uphold their grandiose confident image. It can only last for a very short period of time until they go back to feeling anxious, depressed and ashamed. Because they keep experiencing these setbacks where they are unable to manipulate you. But that is not relevant to you because you're able to rely on your own powers and resources rather than those of others. You are self-sufficient, self-reliant and self-sustaining. You have a lot to give, but they can only take. They are a vacuum. They can only reassert their power and control and perpetuate a cycle of abuse because they do not have the resilience and perseverance that you have. The narcissist knows that you do not need them. They need you. But they will make you feel like it is the opposite because then it puts them in control. And it makes them feel like they are better than you. But what destroys their ego is when they are unable to break you. And then they experience defeat and frustration because they're unable to contain you in the dark place where they reside. They hate your ability to break their spell to where you then wake up and you ask questions. They hate how you have your own voice, ideas and opinions, which is why they bend your reality to cause you to believe things before it can be seen or proven to try to change your perception of them. But you are more preoccupied with your own perceptions, which they cannot distort through their manipulation. And that is what causes them to feel distress and annoyance because you are resilient. They hate your resilience because they cannot abuse you in the way that they want to. They cannot abuse you as much as possible and to the furthest extent. They want to treat you like their doormat, their emotional punching bag, to where they can treat you in a thoughtless, disrespectful and exploitative manner and trample on your feelings to defeat you overwhelmingly. They're able to do that to some extent because you think you love or want them and because of the gaslighting and the trauma bond to where you may experience two conflicted beliefs about them. But they know that you are conscious and aware they know that there is a part of you that knows who they are, which is why they are terrified of you abandoning or exposing them. It's why they're always on edge. And they're always having to cover their tracks because they hate your awareness of the real them. They do not want you to see who they are. They want you to hold radically different beliefs. They want to have full control of your mind. They want you to believe that they're a good person. They do not want you to have any doubts. They want you to accept the illusion as your reality. They want you to become a part of their false ego. They want you to mix your qualities and ideals through it so that you live through it. But it never works out that way. It just causes you to feel very confused because it doesn't make any sense to you. And it shouldn't make sense because they are toxic and dysfunctional. They cannot feel like they exist without your acceptance and validation of the illusion. But this illusion is also a constant reminder to you that you need to leave one day. And that is the part of you that they want to destroy. They want you to completely believe that they are a good person and blame yourself entirely. 
They do not want you to ask questions. They do not want you to suspect that maybe you behave a certain way as a result of something they did to you. They want you to blame yourself completely and entirely. They do not want you to have that awareness because that is your resilience discrediting them by revealing their faults. So they want to diminish its effect. They want to suppress it, but they can't. So they are unsuccessful in achieving their goal and that is why they hate it. Because you have the ability to heal while they remain the same. They cannot change. They can only deal with different people. But you can change, even though they may have harmed you. You can heal from it. You can become stronger. You can find your authentic self. But they can't, because they have no authentic self. They have nothing to heal. It's all destroyed. Because they made a conscious choice to abandon it a long time ago. So now they're just empty vessels. They're lifeless zombies. They can only give the resemblance of life and that is what they hate. Because they know that you are the light. You won't allow yourself to be hurt or controlled by the harm that they have caused. You won't let it affect your behavior or upset you. And instead you will become better and stronger. They can't because they have to depend on other people. But they also hate it when they see you having authentic conversations. It makes them really jealous, which is why they will put you down and blame you because they hate that they can't do it. They have to wear a mask to simulate a connection. Everything is fake with a narcissist. It's an imitation of something natural, which is why it's so rigid and awkward because they're inflexible. They're not able to be changed or adapted. But you're very polite and confident in a way that is easy, simple, light and effortless. Which is why they hate it when you attract people through your authenticity. Because everything just flows naturally. And then people feel safe around you. But the narcissist has to act very charming, seductive or flirtatious in order to fool people, which doesn't last for long because there's no underlying basis or principle. While you just have to enter that flow state where you are completely absorbed in an engaging, enjoyable activity. And then you see that everyone wants to connect with you, which is what the narcissist hates. And that is why they want to destroy it. It's why they cause you to begin having particular negative thoughts or ideas. It's why they fill your mind with self-doubt. They belittle or disregard your abilities, skills and talents to make you believe that you don't even deserve your own possessions or accomplishments. Because underneath the facade, they're just an extremely insecure, envious and entitled child in an adult body who doesn't want you to have the things that you have and be the person that you are because they can't be you and they can't have what you have which is why you should never take anything they say personally they only hate things that make it difficult for them to abuse you while they love things that make it easier for them to abuse you they weaponize your positive qualities against you Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.